Hey guys, this is Wellington527 here, and today we are going to be playing a game I have been biting at the bit to LP, and it is called Blitzkrieg 2. Now I'm going to do something I don't think many of you have seen Let's Play before, and that will be playing the game's campaigns chronologically, which means that we're going to be switching between these three people quite a bit. Seeing as there are four overarching campaigns, per each nation, and we're going to be starting off with Germany during the fall of France with our friend Hans Luftballoon. The Treaty of Versailles required Germany to surrender portions of its territory and placed significant constraints on the size and composition of its armed forces. Despite these measures, Germany is able to struggle to its feet, and by the early 1930s stands among the world's great powers again. The Nazis, who had seized power in 1933, continue a clandestine buildup of its armed forces. By 1939, after the Anschluss of Austria and the annexation of Czechoslovakia, Germany's territory and population are large than prior to World War I. But the Nazis have no intention of stopping there. In September 1939, Germany invades Poland. In response, the United Kingdom and France declare war on Germany. But the Wehrmacht successfully demonstrates its new tactic of blitzkrieg to the world. Polish resistance crumbles within weeks. Indecisiveness by the UK and France allows Germany to occupy Denmark and Norway. At Dunkirk, the British forces are nearly wiped out by a German assault. France is on the edge of defeat. All that remains is for Germany to force its way across the Marne River. And with that, we start. This is another game that has a fun little quotes too. There is only one decisive victory the last. And that is by Karl von Clausewitz. Or whites, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Now, ignore the screen right here. We are not going to be playing this quite yet. We are going to be exiting to the chapter map and doing this. Now, this tells you about uh, general information about the campaign, such as your general and the operation overview, which I'll be reading to you today. General Guderian was the proponent of the fast and skillful tank attacks that led to the quick defeat of the enemy. During this operation, his command grants the Canyonus bonus two light tanks, army branch, branch. Now the operational overview is... During the First World War, the Marne River in northeastern France witnessed the bitter failure of the last major German counteroffensive. Determined not to suffer similar loss this time, German troops are now advancing successfully during the Blitzkrieg and will have the pleasure of sweeping across the Marne as they rout the last allied resistance there. This easy victory will hardly be the turning point in the war as it was some 25 years ago. This time the winner will be Germany proving that any defensive plans the allies can of the allies can be shattered by an aggressive, innovative and well-coordinated German army. Ah, butchering accents. Such a wonderful thing to do. Okay, now, Young Hands is going to be choosing his first two subordinate officers. And they will be Albert Herber, in charge of the light tanks, which are currently Panzer II's version Fs, and our main infantry, which... our main infantry. And they will be in control. They will be controlled by Alfred Schaub. Schaub. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna go into this bit in after the uh, end here. But um, actually, no, I think I'm gonna do it right now. This tells you what army branches are available for the battle that you are about to take place in. For example, uh, this mission, Talon's Reach will allow you um, early 1940 German infantry, which only have a uh, Mauser 98Ks and a Luger, while we have the Panzer II offsets. Now here, actually one more thing is about this. Um, at the end of each mission, you get rewarded by either a medal, or such as the uh, final boss battle, I'm loosely going to call it, or a regular mission which gives you improved infantry or a new infantry or a new not infantry but a new unit branch for example um, we would get um, elite infantry paratroopers which are equipped with mp40s 
and they will be shown... Well, these question marks are ones that we have not unlocked. For example, tank destroyers will be here, which would be the Panzerjäger 1, and medium tanks are here in the form of the Panzer 4D. Now, what I'm going to do right now is decide whether or not to go for this mission and try and get it so I can have better tanks for this one. Which is completely unnecessary because I'm probably not going to be using any more tanks. But I just want to check it out. Panzer III is a major upgrade because you get more tanks. On top of that, a better gun. A 37mm um, L46, better penetration, better firepower, less ammo, but that's completely fine. And you get three more machine guns. Nothing but and three MG34s. Okay, so better bombers too, but we aren't going to be using bombs. I do believe these only have more bombs. Yes, they have five more bombs in their previous iteration. Same amount of defenses, I believe. The dog. Improved defenses, I guess. Okay, but we're gonna go with the regular mission here. And that would be in Talon's Reach. And the operational orders are the Allies have two small towns occupied here, and the roads are being watched by armored troops. We ask that you direct the armed ground attack, and we are confident that you will blah 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 blah. Defeat the enemy is pretty much the goal here. So, that's what we're gonna try and do. Now that we can upgrade these guys while we fight, because that's the only reason why I saw the out. Now we are going to flush out some front people here. We need a tank fire, such as that. Oh, oh, get him, get him, get him. Uh, as you can see, our guys have terrible accuracy right now, and that will be continuing to be true because you pretty much need to get straight up to them in the face before you're able to constantly shoot them. In the but you can do this, which I didn't learn until the first time I played the Battle of Berlin. You can run over people! That's pretty much the best way to deal with infantry. To run directly towards them. Hold that and fling. Now, I'm going to divert these guys over here for a reason we'll see in a minute. Now, we are going to let these guys hold back their dick. Now, have a nice little break after uh, killing a few front people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? Tank little bombers. And what's this? A French armored convoy. Oh my! They've been decimated. Okay, we need to move fast and knock out a few French tanks. They only have medium and a light. Barely any infantry left, but we still need to knock out those arms, those tanks for do anything else. Alright, knock them out, knock them out, Fred. That's called Fred. Okay. You go over here. Oh, they escaped. Okay, but in any case, we're going to be capturing that village, and we're going to be moving this guy over here. For another surprise. Oh, we get some sort of reinforcement. Oh, we got the recon plane though. Okay, we'll deal with this guy in a moment, but there's a convoy coming, and I like convoys. Mainly because they have pleasant things. Alright, where is it? Here we go. Oh, you bastard, you shot the gun. That was not your orders. No, don't shoot the gun. Do not shoot the gun. There we go. Well, I guess I got one less gun to level. up. Okay, so we captured three British anti-tank guns. Good show, good show. Now, to capture the guns themselves and use them against their former masters, we are going to be pulling in an infantry uh, detachment. 30 guys. And, yeah. Now, while these people are going to be kicking back for minutes, we are going to... Oh, no, no, bad. Bad. Stay there. Stay. Okay, you can do that. Okay. I guess he killed a car. Okay, we're gonna be using these guys up towards here, which is a supply depot. And we're going to capture ourselves some nice fuel. 
because you know what? The French don't need it anymore because they don't have any more tanks. Let's see. Let's hope it's not defended. Oh, hello there. Hello, Mr. Truck. Oh, no, 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 don't destroy the fuel. Do not destroy the fuel. Okay. Go the truck. Send some bully. Oh. Um. Oh, no. Okay, so we destroyed their trucks, we captured that thingy, and now we're getting paratroopers. For our hard work. They're even more advanced than what we're supposed to have. Objective reached. Pleasant, uh, present supplies. Yeah, they are. The high fan is very pleased with our shenanigans here. Okay, how's this guy doing on fuel? Oh my, I think I get one of them. I just want to check over here real fast because I already know it's over here by far. Okay, so... There is two machine guns. Vickers. There is a anti-tank gun right there. And some more French people. A few British and a few French people. Okay then. Well, let's get going. You guys move up. You will be doing something over here. Okay. So we're giving these guys their guns. That's what I wanted to say. We got a recall officer. Alright, well those guys are doing that. And it looks like they're expecting an attack in this direction. So you know what? We're going to die by that. Go, go, go. go, go, go. Oh, crap, I gave him the wrong order. Okay, so hopefully the machine guns will knock these guys up before they get in the uh, gun range. Yep, they did. Okay, so that knocks out the infantry. Now let's have our favorite attack, a head-on attack. As the Japanese would say, bomb die. And it's gone. So, do it, you can do it. Uh, one more chance. And it's gone. Alright, so we knocked out the British here. Good chance, then. And we need our AT guns. Along with our infantry sections. Anything wrong? No, there is no. Alright, so we're gonna get this guy. And move from here. Yeah, so we are gonna move everybody up for the final assault on the French HQ. See who has the best armor. It would be this full. Alright, so we're gonna stop you here. Oh, sweet, we got fighters. Let's see what it is. ME 109 E's. Okay, so here's Officer Frankenbeans. Officer Frankenbeans. The adventure of Frankenbeans. Little known fact. He survives the war. Injured 97 times, getting shot in the head 50, and he invents beans and can. Respect him, for he will be owning America in 70 years. And it's not attacking the bridge. I, I, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Oh, the anti-tank. No, no. Bad tank. Bad. Maybe if I gave him orders in German. Sprechen Sie Anglais? French and German. Okay, there we go. So we are going to be knocking out these two machine guns so our infantry can start thinking about over here. I have been watching too much Dr. Tran, as you say. Too much. Okay, so there you go. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Recon. Time was here, so you can 